Sometimes whenever you're sculpting in the surface mode of 3D Coat's voxel workspace, you may find that as you're doing some dynamic tessellation, every once in a while, you may encounter some small holes or problematic areas of the mesh. And 3D Coat is improving more and more in this particular area, but even still, every once in a while, these may crop up. And uh, we want to look at some of the tools that we have at our disposal in order to remedy these problems. So. Let's go ahead and zoom in here and take a peek. You can see I have some holes here. And I find that sometimes they may simply come out by smoothing. So I can hold the shift key and simply just smooth. And if that doesn't work, then the next step I would want to take is basically either close the hole or use uh, some type of a reconstruction tool. So here in the adjust section, you have a reconstruct tool. And this is not to be confused with the reconstruct brush that you have here in the shift action menu. Okay, reconstruct and also the same reconstruct brush exists in clean clay. When you come to the tool options panel, you have a few different options for cleaning a mesh. You can reduce, decimate, average, which is the same as relax. Um, that may change to be the same as relax in the future so uh, if you see that change just uh, take note of it so uh, yeah you have the ability to reconstruct and you can change the amount of detail it has uh, as you perform this operation so what you would do is as you brush it tries to reconstruct and sometimes it doesn't really help a whole lot it may be a little bit too rough. Sometimes it's great, sometimes it's not. So what we can do is choose close hole and it will switch me to a different draw mode like I see here with this uh, freeform lasso. And I can just lasso select the problem area. And the thing I find here is sometimes it's relatively quick, sometimes it can be uh, rather time intensive. So uh, I oftentimes will choose to go with reconstruct first and this does essentially the same thing as the reconstruct brush but it works a bit differently and it's not as rough of a result so let me zoom in here to some other areas and so I'm going to choose the reconstruct tool here in the adjust section and I can brush select an area in this case I'm having some little issues here I guess with paint projection so I escape or undo a few times and I'm going to choose a freeform lasso select and then just hit apply let me undo change the detail amounts, maybe crank it up a bit and hit apply okay so use a smooth brush here smooth all that out and I'm good to go so really you have a couple different options at your disposal sometimes close hole is uh, a lot easier to use because again it switches you right to the lasso select and and sometimes it can only take a few seconds um, but other times maybe use reconstruct or uh, the reconstruct brush so I hope that helps and thank you for watching